until the presentation is ready, I would like to talk to you about something. First of all, what an amazing event we had yesterday, right? Last year, we had the AMB exhibition in Germany, and after we had a big party, Emil told me that he witnessed the mother of all parties. I think we found the new mother of all parties yesterday. Emil, thank you for making this possible. So let's talk about additive manufacturing. We just heard from Emil how important it is that a company transforms to be able to do additive manufacturing. And the future of manufacturing definitely is the combination of CNC and additive. And I would like to ask you this question again. I did it last year. And is there anybody in the audience who really thinks that additive will replace CNC at one point? Because I would like to talk to him. Good, nobody, because it's not. It is always growing together, and there is a big need in the market to incorporate additive in the manufacturing business of our customers. So a typical machine shop today is milling, mill turns, whisk type. We all know it. It's basically our customers that are doing it out there like this. But the industry is changing. I mean, it's changing over the last decade, but now it reached a point where additive is on the point where a manufacturing company can use it. We've been using our desktop metal equipment almost 24 seven. We are printing thousands of parts reliably, metal parts, and this is truly amazing. So the additive will go into machine shops and all our customers that talk to us, they ask us, Solicom, what should we do? We don't know. There are so many technologies on the market and we don't know what to do. So it is our responsibility with the knowledge we have in CNC and now an additive to guide our customer towards the future of manufacturing, which is CNC meets additive. So we are, all in, we are all coming from a machine shop. Maybe not all, but a few of us. And we have barriers in conventional manufacturing. We all know that some shapes are difficult to machine, some shapes are even impossible to machine. So in the combination with CNC, and additive, we can help the customers be more productive, manufacture cheaper, at the end, be more profitable. And there are two ways. First of all, we can help him to do a product innovation. That means we can redesign the part together with him, a part that has been machined before. Maybe it was just a cube because it was easy to clamp. Now we can redo it. We can use additive manufacturing technologies to make the part cheaper, to make the manufacturing process cheaper. So we can change the part geometry, that means design modifications. Second, there is a process innovations. Whenever you want to bring a part to the market, it's going to take you a lot of time, right? You need to manufacture prototypes on the CNC, maybe molds, you spend thousands of dollars in making a mold, for example. With additive, you can save time, you can save money, because for example, you don't need to make a complete mold. So the go-to-market period is way faster. You don't have to put expensive machines inside your inventory. So you can just use the additive printer to print the part that usually you have to buy a really expensive CNC. Tools the same, I just talked about molds. No more molds needed. Small molds you can print in the future and we already are doing it. At the end, what is our goal with additive? and also with SolidCom in general, is to make our customers more productive. So more competitive customers are happy customers, and this makes us happy. Last year, I think it was in February or January, Emil called me and he was like, Michael, I think I found something new. And I was like, okay, Emil, tell me. And he told me there is a system from Desktop Metal which is called the shop system. And he was like, oh, Michael, I think we have to put this in every of our machine shops facilities. So I quickly realized he was really serious about it. We flew to Detroit to the Forum Next. We visited the desktop metal team. And then this whole story started. Meanwhile, we have installed a lot of printers in Germany, in the US, in Israel, and also in Slovenia um, with Yane. So we invested money, right? We invested time, but those technologies work. So as I mentioned, we are printing parts day in, day out with the only technology in binder chatting that really works, which is desktop metal. So our core competence is 
and I want to repeat it, it's the combination of C and C and additive. This is what we are best in, and this is what we are going to train our customers in the future, because they need to invest sooner than later. Jörg, go ahead. So in the next slides, we want to show you a little bit more what kind of printers we sell that we can really cover the complete production process from the pre-design until a serious production. The first print I want to explain to you is uh, on the uh, left side is a plastic printer. It's an E-Tech, a DLP printer, um, where you can work with resins. Now, somebody maybe is irritated. Why does, some, why does solid come additive explain something with plastic printers? This plastic printer you want to use for your functional products. So that is some, uh, a printer where we really can print your final parts after the machining process. So it is not necessary to machine there anything. You don't have to contaminate your CNC machine with plastic chips, nothing. So that is something where you really produce, print your final part, what you have at the end. The advantage of this printer is that you can work with many, many different materials in the same printer, hard plastics as well. Maybe uh, you can use this also for uh, your uh, uh, clamping devices. Um, also, you can work there with transparent plastic materials. If you produce maybe some um, hydraulic components and you want to see then the inner channels and everything, yeah, how the liquid is flowing, then you can print there your uh, transparent plastic part. And then at the end, you can also exchange very easy your design. You can print there different design iteration. You print the first um, part, then you are not happy with the complete design. You want to modify something. You go back in, in your CAD system. You, you uh, modify it. You go back to your printer, send there the slides, uh, the, the files to the printer and then you can reprint these parts very, very easy with extreme precise. Maybe some of you know FDM printers by using filaments. Here with this printer, we are much faster and also the uh, accuracy is much better compared with other uh, plastic printers. Yesterday we heard a lot about seeds in education. That is also um, printer, you can work there, offer there this to education, use it there. It's a very, very easy to handle printer and um, you don't need any special uh, uh, modifications in the facility, nothing. You can print there everywhere. That is also a printer we use on our trade shows and this printer is running during a trade show. So you're happy with your design, everything is fixed. Yeah, and, um, but at the end, you want to print a metal part. So then you can use the final, the last modification, what you did, the final uh, CAD file. Then you go from the plastic one to the steel one and uh, use them there, um, this uh, desktop metal um, um, studio system where you can print very, very easy than also your prototypes. That is a printer. It works similar to an FDM printer, working, moving in X, Y, and Z uh, with different nozzles. And you can print there very, very fast uh, your parts. On the one side, you see the printer. On the other side, you see the Sinter oven. It's a Sinter process yeah, where you change then the metal powder uh, in the Sinter oven to the solid metal part. It is an easy way, it is an easy process there. Yeah, it's more or less also like the e printer, a plug and play system. Uh, everything is uh, process controlled. So if you speak about sintering, maybe no, uh, somebody knows that material will shrink uh, during the sinter process. You don't have to care about it. Yeah? You choose your material, then uh, in the slicing software, the, part will automatically ex being expand based on the material what you choose. Everything is really easy. A huge variety of different materials what you have here, um, not just steel, uh, it's also um, uh, copper or titanium. 
On that picture down here, you see also the InVision One again. So there you can produce or print then your clamping devices. And uh, later on, you go on your CNC machine and machine the parts everywhere. You have tight tolerances um, and um, your, for your final part. Now, this one was more or less for small quantities and uh, prototypes. You want to produce now uh, serious production. Then you can go to this um, uh, shop system. Uh, shop system is more or less like a, a reel for mass production. It is a typical uh, powder system. Um, all the parameters are also defined by desktop metal. You use there the, uh, the uh, powder parts. Everything is quality controlled. So you go from the printer uh, in the middle, then the, the activation oven for the powder, and at the end, uh, also in the center oven, and then you have your final parts. Advantage here is that you really can mix parts. Uh, and uh, so that is what you can do here uh, with uh, mid volumes. That is what we do very often in uh, printing, using this uh, print in our showroom in Schramberg, that we really produce several different parts in the printer, or it's also possible to do a mass production. You see here then how the printer is uh, running. On one side is the powder moving, on the other side is the uh, big head. There is a binder dropping down, and then you produce there a mix of powder and binder, and um, this uh, build envelope will go down. And if you remember then uh, this video what we made with this cutting head, then uh, Robert, my colleague, was moving the complete um, uh, powder frame uh, uh, from, the oven, uh, from the printer to the activation oven. And in that way, in that stage, the printer is completely free and you can start a new product uh, printing pro, uh, job. So that's also the reason why a shop system is much, much faster compared with a laser-based uh, system. So what we do here, in general, our second core competence, I will say, is that we have printers, we sell printers, we develop parts with you uh, from the, for the complete process. And also what we do is we do a lot of benchmarks in uh, Schramberg uh, that we really show you then the parts that you have something in, in hand very, very fast. And that is also what we want to invite you. Please send us your files. Then we can um, negotiate, uh, discuss with you some technical meetings uh, about everything that you have really your parts in hand extreme fast. We show you also how we print everything and also at the end you get the prices for your parts that you can decide um, whether it is useful or you want to buy one or you want to uh, buy uh, parts by a service provider. In the next slides, we want to show some use cases that you get a little bit of feeling about that, how to use this additive manufacturing and why it is our motto then CNC meets additive. Um, one of these things, what you have seen in the movie also, is this um, cutting head, this Red areas is something where we really add material because we want to remove this uh, later on on a CNC machine. So everywhere where you need tight tolerances, uh, then you can add some material and remove it later on the CNC. Uh, most of the parts what you print have to be machined. Most of the metal parts you print have to be machined later on on a CNC machine. So you make the design. You print it, you see here also on uh, down how it will be printed in the build envelope, uh, how it will be fixed, uh, how is the position, everything is done automatically by the slicing software, and then you can print it. You see here also the, uh, this borehole, that is an inner channel, uh, uh, what you can print, very easy, complicate to machine. Later on, uh, third step, you go on your CNC machine everywhere where it's necessary, where you have these tight tolerances, where you have some boreholes, what you cannot um, uh, print very easy. And at the end, 
you have the final assembly uh, and um, a very fast also uh, than a complex tool. So what we do here, developing new uh, products in combination additive manufacturing plus CNC. Another thing is uh, the bone plate. What we also have, it's similar um, design, what we do here. The main difference is that we really add an area, um, a, a, a clamping area that you can easily fix it on your CNC machine. So you have a defined position. It is not uh, that we just print the bone plate and then you have to um, machine it and you have to buy some more expensive uh, chicks or fixtures or whatever because there are high tolerances. You have to machine somewhere or bring in some threads. No, we add this additional material and then it's easier to machine it on a CNC machine. So what we do here, we design, that is one of the first things what we always discuss with our customers, yeah, what kind of application, what kind of um, equipment you have in your machine shop, and then um, in that way we design then the components. BAK Colo, you heard also yesterday um, that this one is one of our first customers for our shop system. It is located in Tuttlingen, the more or less center of uh, medical devices in Germany. And uh, he was buying a shop system and um, also has several of these um, milling machines. And the idea here is also he's producing surgical instruments. So we uh, got a, a sample from him. We printed the parts. And um, also um, some areas where the spore holes were, um, you have to machine. So if we just print it in that way, then it's very complicated to fix it on a machine. So and what we, did we do then? Yeah, we made here, can you zoom it? Yeah. yeah, we make here some additional areas where you can really fix it very, very easy on, on the milling center and also then Everywhere where you have to machine it, or where you have to, um, yeah, where you have these tight tolerances, um, that is something where we add this material, and it's easier for us also to remove this uh, the powder in, in the depowdering station. But that is our philosophy, adding really some further areas that it's easier to machine later on. So to give you a little a rough idea, if he is producing this, milling this out of a solid block, uh, CNC costs around 110, and the combination additive manufacturing plus CNC is three times cheaper. So the reason why Kohler was adding then or going into this uh, CNC or additive manufacturing is real, that he wants to create new businesses and also then um, increase the sales, contacting new customers. Valve body, also that is something what you have seen in the last uh, yesterday in, in other slides also. So that is a customer from Israel um, where we got uh, files and you see here where the part you have in hand is um, the final machine part and then the other, the other pictures show then the way how we printed it. Yeah. We printed this in, a, in our shop system. Later on, the customer has machined it. You see that is really a solid material, not some holes in, uh, not some uh, um, inlays in, nothing. That is shown here in combination with the uh, uh, tank. Also, a comparison, CNCing and additive manufacturing. And you see here also the price is much cheaper with this combination. I don't want to say that it's always in that way that uh, you have a, a big gap between uh, machining and uh, CNCing plus machining. But we have to choose the right parts and then we can uh, achieve them there also 
reduce prices and um, that our customers are more competitive in, um, in the final parts. Calculated quantity here is uh, 6,000, so it is a special material. We use here a special design for his special application in combination with a special material. Solid Com Slovenia is our reseller in Southeast Europe. Uh, uh, Jan is somewhere there. So he has a shop system and a studio system in his showroom since the uh, beginning of the year. We made some uh, projects together with him. We installed uh, in total three studio systems in uh, Dacia, in Romania. And um, advantage for him is then he can increase business expand the customer base there and generate new sales. Yeah, it's a complete new offer what he can add then there to his uh, um, software. So finally, CNC meets additives. That is our motto. And uh, so that is what we really want to combine both worlds, I would say, yeah, bringing in new ideas. Um, so additive manufacturing does not just build uh, objects, it assembles innovation layer to layer, shape to sh uh, in shaping in the future. And now I want to offer something for, to you also. Please send us your files. We have the possibilities uh, to print your parts very, very fast in our showrooms. Yeah, we have several printers there. Um, we can discuss with you that you really see the differences would it make uh, sense for me um, to use this additive manufacturing at the end? Uh, would it make sense also uh, to buy one? Um, we do a benchmark. You get all the information that you really can decide at the end. You get the uh, prices of, uh, of these parts. And also we show you then um, how it is printed. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jörg. There's a question for you okay. from Jason from Brother Machining. He is asking, what is the difference between this 3D printing equipment and the existing equipment in the market? Where is the biggest advantage? How is the price performance ratio? I would say like this. There is Gusel Dimekali. He's the vice president of yeah. Polymers and Metal from Desto Metal. He will answer this question gladly. 